Hi there, I'm Joshua Vilches and welcome to a new video. I will continue the solution of the chemistry exam of Momoku Aksho 2007. Let's do it! The next problem says Bubbling hydrogen sulfide through an acidic solution produces black precipitates. Which of the following cations 1 to 5 is contained in the solution? So, how to do this? The topic for this problem is test for ions, specifically for anions. We have the test for sulfide which is bubbled through an acidic solution containing lead cations show us a black precipitate, which is lead sulfide. This one is a characteristic test for ion sulfide. This is done at college laboratories. So, the answer is lead. Alternative 4. Next question says, it is found that 0.42 grams of a gaseous compound containing only hydrogen and carbon occupies 410 milliliters at a temperature of 300 Kelvin and a pressure of 0.9 atmospheres. Assuming the gaseous compound is an ideal gas, what is the molecular formula of the compound? So, how can we do this? This is a numeric problem. The topic for this problem is the ideal gas law. Since a problem gives us the values of pressure, temperature, volume, and R, we are be able to calculate N, the number of moles. We cancel out units and simplify, and finally we get that the number of moles is 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 2 moles. So, why can't we do this next? The number of moles is equal to the mass over the molar mass. The problem says us that the mass is 0.42 grams. So now we are able to calculate the, the molar mass, which is 28 grams per mole. Comparing the molar mass among the alternatives, we realize that the answer is a 10, the alternative 3. Next question says, which of the following descriptions 1 to 4 is correct? So, we need to find the answer of each alternative and determine if it's true or false. So, to solve this, Question, we need to keep in mind the pH of the solution which is defined as minus log of the concentration of the hydrogens contained in a solution. So, we will see each alternative. One says, the pH of the solution results when 10 milliliters of 1.0 multiplied to 10 to the minus 5 mole per liter of HCl is diluted to 10 liters with distilled water is 8. So how can we do this? In order to find the concentration of hydrogens, we need the number of moles and the total volume. So the number of moles is the values and calculating we get 10 to the minus 7 moles. The total volume is 10 liters plus 10 milliliters which is approximately equal to 10 liters. It doesn't affect. So we have these two values and we are able to calculate the concentration of hydrogens, which is 10 to the minus 8 molarity. Now the pH is minus logarithm of the concentration of these hydrogens, which is 8. But this is true or false? Obviously, if this is false, why? We are talking about HCl. HCl is a strong acid. An acid on the scale is between 1 to 7. So, if we got a pH of 8, we are talking about a base. But HCl is an acid. So, what can we do it? When we have this value, this absurd value, we only have to change this value into 7 because this acid is no more acid. This could be neutral. So, this is false. 
The next one says the pH of the solution that results when 10 milliliters of 10 to the minus 3 mol per liter of sodium hydroxide is diluted to 1 liter with distilled water is 9. So we are going to do the same steps. Now, if this is an hydroxide, we are calculating the concentration of hydroxide ion. So, the same steps. The number of moles, calculating this, we get 10 to the minus 5 mole. And the total volume, calculating, finally we get 1 liter. Because 10 milliliters doesn't affect. Finally, we get the potential of hydroxide. It's minus log of hydroxide concentration which is 5 but for the property the sum of pH and pOH is 14 so finally the pH is 9 the pH 9 is for a base and so the sodium hydroxide is a base so this is true the next one says the pH of the solution that results when 10 milliliters of 10 to the minus 2 mole per liter Acetic acid is diluted to one liter with distilled water is four. So now we have the acetic acid. If we do the same steps, we get the number of moles is 10 to the minus four moles, and total volume is one liter. We finally get the, the concentration is 10 to the minus four, and calculating the pH is minus logarithm. Is a, hydrogen concentration and finally it's 4 but this is false this is not correct because acetic acid is a weak acid it doesn't dissociate at all it finally gets a solution as a chemical equilibrium so the pH is no 4 so this is false The last one says the pH of the solution results when 10 milliliters of 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter of sulfuric acid is diluted to 1 liter with distilled water is 5. So we have to calculate with the same steps, but calculating the number of moles of hydrogens, we need to keep in mind that the one mole of sulfuric acid gives us two mole of hydrogens. So we need to multiply by two. So the number of moles of hydrogens is two times ten to the minus five mole. And the total volume doesn't vary, so this is one liter. We have the two values and finally we get the concentration of hydrogen is 2 times the minus 5 mole per liter. Calculating the pH, we get the, the minus logarithm of 2 times 10 to the minus 5 is 4.7. So this is not 5, so this is false. And finally, we have the correct answer, which is the alternative 2. Go to the last question. 9. In electrolysis of an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide using platinum electrodes, the reactions that occur at the anode and the cathode are respectively where we need to find the reactions on cathode and anode. In other words, we have to choose two alternatives. Well, let's go. The topic for this question is electrochemistry. We have this electrochemical system with a battery and a solution and uh, two platinum electrodes with a positive charge and negative charge respectively. The, ne the negative electrode is called anode and the other is cathode. The electrons are traveling anode the cathode. The solution is an aqueous sodium and hydroxide, so in the solution we have sodium cation and hydroxide ion and water. 
So in the electrolysis, the negative charge ions go to the anode oxidating itself and the positive charge go to the cathode reducing itself. So now we have on the anode the oxidation of hydroxide ion with a potential of minus 0.4 volts and at the cathode we have two possible reductions the sodium cation and water. We compare the potentials and we choose the more stable which is the less negative which is water. And finally we find the electrochemical reaction balancing both reactions and finally we get this. So the problem wants to wants the reactions of the anode and cathode. So in the anode of course the alternative 5 and the cathode of course alternative 2. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel to get the newest videos. Take a look at my Facebook page Shiro Sensei or my personal account as Yoshiro Vilches. Mail me if you want math, physics or chemistry online classes. It can be in English or Spanish.